How to photograph the partial lunar eclipse that, depending where you are on Earth, will occur on September 17th or 18th, 2024, step by step. Hello, fellow pillar, Raphael the Bar here. In this video, you'll learn how to photograph the partial lunar eclipse that will occur on September 17th or 18th, 2024, depending where you are on Earth, because of the time zone. And this video uh, will serve you well also to photograph any other partial lunar eclipse that will occur in the future. So get ready to learn how to photograph all the faces of the eclipse, and also learn how to photograph the eclipse when it is aligned with an interesting subject. Ready? Because everything begins with the plan. As you know, the partial eclipse won't be visible from anywhere. It will be visible only in certain places on the planet. So the first thing you need to do is to go to photo pills and figure out when and where the partial eclipse will occur. And this is super easy to do with the planner. And with this information, you'll be able to plan your eclipse shot very easily. This means that you'll be able to plan your shooting spot, shooting date and shooting time so you can go and photograph the clips. I'm not going to invest time in this video showing you how to plan the clips because last week I released a video showing you how to plan this eclipse specifically so you want to watch this video, you want to learn how to plan this eclipse, watch this video. Whether your goal is to photograph only all the faces of the eclipse with no foreground, or to photograph the partial lunar eclipse aligned with an interesting subject, you'll need the same equipment you use when you're photographing the moon. You'll need a tripod ahead, your camera of course, and a telephoto lens, 300, 400, 500, the longer the better. Here you have a crop sensor camera, the crop factor will help you multiply your focal length, you, so you can go even longer. Also, if you wish to create a composite image like this one, you will need the second camera and a wide-angle lens to photograph the path of the clips and the landscape. And finally, make sure that you're using a shutter release, an external shutter release, or an intervalometer, because the less you touch the camera, the better. Avoid vibrations at all costs, because vibrations produce a blurry image. On the clips date, arrive at the shooting spot the in position one hour more before the shooting time to get ready, you know, before the clips begins. And set up everything at the planned shooting spot and make sure that everything is stable. And now it's time to use the photo pills of mental reality to figure out where the eclipse will occur in the sky. You can see the position of the moon, so this is going to be the position of the eclipse tool. Now set the photo lens you wish to use to get the frame you want. For example, 500 mil. If your goal is to photograph only the faces of the clips without the foreground, then meet a light on the surface of the moon before the clips begin. Set the aperture to f8 to get a deep, nice depth of field, but in case it's needed, get ready to open the aperture to f5.6 for example, to keep the shutter speed under 1 second, because you want to avoid the motion blur on the moon due to the rotation of Earth. I'll set the ISO to 100, but once again get ready to push the ISO up to 400 to 800 to keep the shutter speed under 1 second. Now set the shutter speed that gives you the right exposure on the moon. A good idea when you're photographing a partial lunar eclipse is to set a base uh, shutter speed of 1 divided 125 seconds and bracket your exposure to make sure that you at least get one photo correct pose. Usually a one stop bracketing of 3 photos will be enough. Now make sure to make focus on the moon, and if you're photographing the clips aligned with an interesting subject, make focus on your subject. Then take a take shot and check that the moon or both the moon and your subject are in focus. And by the way, there is an easy way to make sure that when you're photographing the moon or an eclipse aligned with your subject, sun, uh, you get in focus both your subject and your and the eclipse in this case. And I explain how to do it in this video. Watch it. Okay, last but not least, check that this boy here is right. Check that you're catching detail on the moon, on the eclipse, both the highlights and the shadows. And if something goes wrong, make the necessary adjustments on the focusing or on the exposure. Now, we used to learn more how to plan and photograph the partial eclipse. I invite you to download and study well our super detailed learning eclipse photography guide. I'm gonna be funny in the description of this video to the guide and in the first comment below. Download it and study well. And as always, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday in another video. And remember that you have the power to make plan and shoot legendary photos. Bye.